Good morning. Look, I'm a cool dad. Yeah. Hey, Father's Day's coming up. I just now realized. Huh. Check it out. I painted the door. So now it looks really good. Although I did ruin my shoes. Because <laughs> I'm dumb. Anyways. <sighs> Failure is not an option. Is a load of crap. Do you know why? Because how do you learn? Usually when someone says failure is, an, is, is not an option, that's them just justifying maybe a spur of the moment decision or a poorly thought out plan. Failure is always an option. But see, we put the wrong value on failure. And because of that, you know, we get on the internet, we want to be inspired, we want to be motivated, we want to, we want to have people who are successful telling us how successful they got and how successful you can be. And sit there and, and say, failure is not an option because when your back's against the wall there's there's only one way to go forward you have to fight blah 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 here's the deal you need to fail you need to fail hard you need to make mistakes you need to figure out what works and what doesn't work Think about these these music groups that will sit there and and have the they're called the one hit wonders, right? They have one song that makes it, and next thing you know, they try to another song or another album. Maybe they have one album that makes it, and but then the second album flops, and then they give up. Because they, they hit success the first time. So guess what? They, they didn't learn what worked and what didn't work. You know, Twisted Sister was together for 10 years before they even got their first record label. They were not one-hit wonders, right? But failure is an option. As long as you don't sit there and cry about it or blame somebody else for it. And if you do blame somebody else for it, then put yourself in a position where you cannot blame somebody else for it. That's essentially what I did at Landstar. You know, I blame Landstar. And I put up that video, it was members only, but I've made it public. Um, I'll be doing another members only video on the other channel shortly. But um, I've made it public, but when I stopped blaming Landstar, and can improve from my failures, guess what? I learned. <laughs> so don't don't be part of that toxic positive positivity or you know blind devotion dedication without thought. Do not let your emotions um, dictate uh 100% of your business. Do not rely on hope as a business plan. And learn from your mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Most people don't give themselves room for error. If you're, uh, you know, in the trucking world, if your business costs are $1,000 a day, there's, there's no room for error. No bad loads, no bad brokers, Everything's got to go perfect. Well, anybody who's been in trucking knows that uh, <laughs> ain't nothing work like it's supposed to, right? Like, for example, I failed at getting these brush piles de dealt with. So I got to deal with them. And I'm going to learn little lessons on how to do this efficiently. And and all that jazz.
I learned that siding the garage was probably cheaper 20 years ago than now, after some damage is done. But we keep going on. I don't beat myself up. I don't, uh, I don't waller in my misery, which, you know, I've been known to do. <laughs> Remember, I sang for a death metal band for a long time because I wallered in my misery. Actually, Apnea had songs that wallered in misery and or were inspiring to motivate. <laughs> I was kind of bipolar that way. But anyways, cheers. Good morning. Listen to birds. And you know what they're telling you? Thanks for watching.